Hey guys and welcome to Ubuntu Last Videos. In this Ubuntu Last Video segment, I'm going to do the top apps on the Ubuntu Tweak. What is it? Uh, basically a customization, configuration, settings manager. Uh, basically it's nothing you can't do on your computer already through your preferences or your administration. Also through your, uh, what is it, the configuration editor, which most people think of this as uh, deadly. Uh, kind of like uh, the Ubuntu registry editor but it's actually it's a lot simpler but it's still complicated for some people and most of the stuff you want to do you have to do through here for security measures and stuff like that but for the sake of simplicity they've made this simple application here to give you a very good customizable feel so let's go ahead and download it and install it very simple uh, the website is called ubuntu tweak.com and on the main page we have the home page right here just click on download now it's gonna be a gdeb file so just go ahead and open it up and install it and that's basically how you would install it very simple so now what do we do we can open it uh, this I'll show you how it works um, the basic setup is a index on the very left and the control area on the very right this big old part here is the control that's the index I'll start from the very top move my way down this is the welcome screen there's nothing special about it just gives you an overview of what Ubuntu tweak is next we have the application center uh, you've probably seen this before you we've had this center always pop around uh, but this is actually a very useful version of it uh, by default you only have the repositories available to you or all the software available through you uh, through the Ubuntu Software Center but with the Source Center a combination you can actually you have to unlock it first you can actually add sources from third-party places like for instance Docky that's what I have down here uh, once you check on it here you go to back to Application Center and you'll be able to find it on the list here and install it through just checking here and clicking upon apply and this works for a lot of applications be warned though that some of these applications are actually betas and they're not completely well to be used for pe some people but a lot of them are really good applications that you normally won't find on the Ubuntu the, by regular standards and this is Ubuntu preview it's really good but so on and so forth that's how that works we have a package cleaner right in between those two uh, basically clean up your computer for stuff uh, we have cleaning cache, cleaning configurations, and cleaning kernel. This is probably the most useful piece. We can clean all the old kernels that our computers left there for us. And we can see right there in the grub uh, login or grub boot screen. It's just so overwhelming and so many of them that you just want to scream. But with this, you just clean up and they're all gone. We have a source editor, basically a text editor embedded in here uh, for your sources simple to use, unlock, you have to unlock most of these stuff because they are administrative, administrative stuff for applications and here basically uh, copy and paste or add your own uh, sources on the websites or web for security or for any application that you want update manager uh, basically the exact same thing as the system administration update manager in fact this once you select all and install updates it opens up the other applications so I don't really see the point in it but it's good to have if you have a one uh, place stop <coughs> for all your configurations next we have the auto start programs simple all these applications start with your computer and you can actually add more or remove more now notice that this program here again is nothing that you can't do simply by just going to the application in this case we have the startup application startup application application I don't know what you want to call it uh, same exact thing you can see the similarity it's just that Eldis is just pressed together into one application so it's simple to configure on the go next we have session control file manager you can change the file manager you open files with panel you can change this panel up here with the GNOME panel and window manager you can change the compass uh, to metacity to emerald to whatever you want <coughs> afterwards we have desktop stuff desktop stuff is always fun configuration for your desktop uh, at the moment you can do little stuff here uh, there's not much you can do but you can change the different corners and what they do uh, you can do a net enable snapping windows enable wobbly windows transparent menus wobbly menus and down here is very useful uh, if you remember in the past episodes I showed you how to customize or add an application to customize your graphics well that application is called the simple compiz configuration which you can find down here in the custom area 
Uh, by default, you don't have this, but you can install it either via the Ubuntu Software Center. You look for custom uh, compass configuration simple, or you can just check this little piece here and then install it for you. Simplicity at its best. I like check buttons. Uh, underneath that, we have screenlets to install screenlets, and that's basically all you can do in this area. Next, we have desktop icons. Uh, nothing too complicated. You can show your icons on your desktop. You can hide them, uh, move them around, rename them, and so on and so forth. Uh, the one big thing is some people like to have all their home folders on their desktop. So, like for instance, if we open our home folder, we have all of these: the video, Frostwire, music, etc. We want it all on the desktop. Well, you use this little check mark down here, which says "Use Home Folder as Desktop." Basically, what it does is when you restart, it'll uh, use your home folders on your desktop. You use your home folder as your desktop, so anything in your home folder will be showing showing up on your desktop. That's basically all that is. Next, we have GNOME settings. Uh, right now, this monster isn't very useful, at least not for me. Uh, but reading it, complete lockdown of all panels. What does this mean? I like this option. If I take this off, when I right click on the panel, I see add to panel, properties, new panel, and so forth. If I click on this, now I don't see those anymore. I just see help and about panels. This locks down my panel so I can't move anything, so I don't uh, move anything or someone else moves anything and so on and so forth. It's very useful if you want to keep it the same way for a long time so that no one messes with it basically. You can change the little icon uh, for Ubuntu up in the left top left corner, enable switching when the screen is locked and so on. Window manager is broken. Uh, I don't like this at all. I'm going to report this soon. Uh, but basically, this is the area where you can uh, enable MetaCity instead of Compass. MetaCity will allow for the docky to run, for a few window tweaks to run, but it will not allow, it's not advanced enough to allow like uh, the 3D cube to run very well, um, or so other things. But the thing is, MetaCity is a lot more stable, and it is, although I haven't really had much trouble with Compass, MetaCity is a lot lighter so it doesn't drain battery or video card usage it isn't um, very stable it's very fast and so on I would ref prefer MetaCity over Compass a lot of the times but I do like my uh, cube and my walls and stuff like that so I gotta stick with Compass afterwards we have the default folders uh, change all your folders links and stuff like videos for instance home slash Chris slash videos you can change the path to that you can manage some scripts here set wallpaper you just drag from this side here to over here and you enable some scripts that are already given to you manage temporary files uh, sorry manage templates I keep looking at temp and I think temporary manage templates and here we basically uh, have templates I already showed you how to make custom templates but you can just use from here just drag and drop onto all over here shortcut commands uh, basically commands you have 12 commands to choose from uh, the first one I did was Firefox. I just put the command for the application you want to run. This is the same application that you would type into the terminal. And from the second part, just click the key combination you want, and now just click it again, and you will open Firefox. Next is advanced power, simple stuff. Computer details, uh, a few details about your computer, simple stuff. File type manager, what files to open with which applications. Until the settings, uh, basically change the thumbnail size of the images or a few settings here and there and until it's with open terminal and so on and of course security related very useful for those that want to keep their computer secure from other people around them uh, you can disable saving to disk you can disable printing you can disable lock screen or run application dialog and fast user switching and there you go uh, that's basically how all this works I hope this was useful for you and you found this very intriguing because I love this application I use it daily and if you like it Please donate to the authors because they, they took some time to actually you know, make a really good application here. So thank you for watching uh, Ubuntu Lost Videos and I will be coming back with more videos.